Nick, the super awesome Lego builder himself, and today it is late, but I am back with another super awesome Lego model, and this isn't entirely a custom model. This is actually, you already know this if you've seen the title on the playlist on YouTube, it is a custom ish model and the reason it is custom ish is because even though it does have its original custom parts to it it's not entirely custom it's actually comprised of a few different sets the model is a combination of the heavy hull train the passenger high speed passenger train um and that last car there is a car from the Heavy Oil Train that I customized, and it does have a little custom station bit. Now, this review is going to be a little bit different because, as I said, it's not really a full review. It's going to be sort of like a semi-review. And the other thing I need to get straight before this review is that... It is an ADU set. Now, I know I said I would be done with the ADU set, and this is sort of like a tie inside set. Because this is designed to be the type of train that City Number 7 uses to transport around pieces, or bricks, I should say, in passengers and things such as that. So, because this is mainly just sets off the shelf, well shit sets from the shelf that are just being repurposed. I'm not really gonna go over the minifigures. I I'm just gonna like take it by explaining the carts one at a time. Or cars. So this is just the first car and this is the engine itself. Now there are no changes made to this whatsoever. You pretty much know exact if you have the heavy all train set you know exactly what this is. No surprises. It's just your average heavy haul European style train, as most Lego sets usually are, with the opening passenger side. That's actually the back of it, though it's designed so it's like double sided. Uh, then there's the side, uh, which has the train driver in it. Moves around like this. And. And if you look right there, I do still have the engine in it, but I'll get to that later. Uh, second car is also a direct ripoff car. This is from the Lego High Speed Passenger Strange set. I just took that right off. Here it is. Rolls nicely. It's got these bottom wheels. Pretty solid. I, I, I do like both those sets that it came from. Not much different here. Um, oof. That's not really where it's supposed to be going. Uh, take the top off. That's the exact same interior. There are no changes. You can see that I actually shoved the guy's bike back there. And the only, literally the only change to the minifigures in any of this is that I made this guy the ADU sniper before he became the ADU sniper. Literally when, after he realized that the Metro Police weren't being helpful like he thought they were. He just came back and he just resigned and went to city number seven. And now he is just chilling right here. He's about to get off his train. Oh, and the other girl in there, or lady, uh, she. She's just a, a character who came standard. Mm, like I said. Nothing much original. Third car is this mini helicopter. Well, helicopter carrying car. Now, this car is the same, but the helicopter that that is on it at the moment is new. Now, I've actually reviewed the, this helicopter right here on my channel before. You can go back and find it. So, I'm not really going to go into too much detail explaining of it. Um, if you have watched this video, the reason it looks slightly different is because it's actually supposed to be in a folded up state. Uh, its machine gun is right here. Its, its wings are back here on its pontoons. 
Um, the car itself is mainly just the same. I just wanted to have a more compact look because originally when I put it on, I, did, I knew that the giant wing sticking out would have been a hazard, but the helicopter comes off nicely. And just take this out with it to assemble the helicopter, or fully assemble it, I should say. You just take these off. Peg it in. Clip the weapon on down here. And there you go. And now the fourth and final train car is the only truly custom one. It's built on the car from the original set. And but I, I've changed it up a bit. Uh, it's now black. And basically, this is designed to be just a flat car with some sides on it, like, like a gondola car, I guess. But, well, is that a No, that's a Yeah, Yeah, the gondola car. And basically what these are used for is transporting stuff like used bricks that have been mined. Well, I guess, like, not really mined, but just... I don't know what, what you would put it like. They've been collected by people because in a dystopian future where the aliens are in control of everything along with the Metro Police who aren't really any better, they're t basically one of the ways to make money and profit is to sell off um, pin the used pieces to the Metro Police and other people who then repurpose it and used it to build their vehicles and weaponry. So logically, this is the type of train car that they would use to carry that stuff into the various locations where the, they would be collected. And all in all, I'm happy with it. Uh, got the wheels down here. Um, um, uh, these I kept from the original one. And it's pretty solid. Uh, little little um, supported edges. These are like just support by eight studs on each. I just clipped them on. And all in all, I think it looks really nice. Here is the same car again, filled up with pieces that are going to be salvaged and sold just to another, um, for another uh, perception. And now there is actually one other 100% custom part of the set. And that is this small little City 17, oh, not 17, that, that's Half-Life, yes, remember, this is very Half-Life in Sparta, get confused. City 7 train platform. Now this was something I came up with kind of late, and I'm not super happy with it. I, I, I don't hate it, I think it's okay, uh... And I didn't have much time to work it out, and I honestly imagine that the platforms are a little bit bigger, and not like that, but honestly I think in LEGO scale it works good. And you can see up there you have the security camera just on a signpost, there's a little balcony there, and the metro officer standing guard, and my cat's behind me, uh, here's just this train track where the train will go. And like any good LEGO train model, it comes with an 8 volume, 8 volume? What is it called? I, I don't know. In 8, a 7 speed remote control and the train works with a battery box and a motor on the tracks. And it looks awesome. Well, like I said, this has been a bit of a different video, and because of that, I have pretty much covered everything this set has to offer. This is going to be, I think, the quote-unquote end of this quote-unquote season of LEGO reviews, because after this, I need some time to come up with some new set ideas and build some more, because... Um, for the next few videos, I'm going to re be doing drawing tutorials again. But don't worry, I will be back at LEGO Models soon after. So, 
As always, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter. My description is in the below. Well, my handle's in the description below. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!